Yes, good evening YouTube. I have my Manix DCFM8906, the CFM2 Master, and I've plugged a little uh, stereo audio jack. And let me show you what that cable connects to. Okay, so this is a little bit of a wiring mess here, but I've got the left audio jack here. And just for the time being, I'm using an LED and a pull-down resistor, current limiting resistor, just so I can see what's going on. So I've got the LED positive side hooked to the shield of the left cable, and then I've got the resistor running to the green wire which goes to the ground of a DB9 serial cable and then I've got the center pin of the left audio connector hooked to the white wire here and that connects to the DTR pin on the DB9 connector. Essentially how this works, this uh, DTR pin is normally pulled high by the uh, PC or data terminal and DTR is data terminal ready so this this is a signal from the PC to the device in this case the airflow meter that says I am ready to receive data and then this uh, the shield connector is hooked to the output of a transistor inside the airflow meter and that transistor is being switched on and off and then this pull down resistor goes to ground so the resistor or here the LED and resistor are pulling the signal to ground and then when the transistor is turned on, it's being pulled to the DTR voltage level. So you've got your high pulse, and this gives you the low pulse. Yeah, so here's the oscilloscope showing the output. We've got uh, sitting down at ground, and then every once in a while, you get a pulse of ASCII data. And that's at 2400 baud. And let's see here, we go down. To a there's my DB9 cable. Actually, I only need uh, three of those four wires. The green wire is ground, the white wire is DTR, and then the black wire is the transmit data on this end, but it's plugged into the receive data so that the PC receives that data and let me show you what it looks like. Okay, so right here I have the other end of that cable plugged into a USB to serial adapter and then I'll show you what it looks like on the screen here. Okay, and here I have uh, Putty running, uh, COM3, which is the USB to serial adapter and I'm running 2400 baud. The meter can also output 1200 baud. And here you can see it's reporting. Uh, temperature is 19.8 degrees C and the velocity is 0.0, .0 meters per second. And let me go blow on the meter and see if we get a speed reading. Okay, we should see, there we go, 1.36 meters per second, uh, 0.69, it's slowing down, so there we go. I can read serial data off this meter. I should be able to simplify this uh, connector down to a single 2200 ohm resistor, according to what I found online and then three wires in a DB9 connector. And that seems to be the key to getting data out of this device. It just keeps sending data. Well, basically all the meter is doing is just turning an output transistor on and off. And if you hook up DTR as, as a source of power, 
and you hook up ground off of the DB9 connector the and then put a pull down resistor between ground and the transistor output it's switching between the DTR voltage and ground getting you your serial pulses so that looks like we have data